Hello, my name is Dr. David Cathcart, and I'm from Heartland Regional Medical Center in St. Joseph, Missouri. Uh, medical assistants are uh, those folk that work in usually in an office setting, and they help manage uh, either medical files or uh, help manage the waiting room. They'll answer the phone, uh, that sort of thing. There are those there are those extra hands in in uh, and around the medical office that have to be there because they're just you know that that don't require the level of intensity of a, of training that perhaps a nurse might. Uh, need, but certainly more than just you know someone walking off the street. Most of these uh, programs that uh, teach people to become medical assistants are accredited programs. There's a couple of different accrediting agencies, uh, but you just need to make sure that that the school program that you're considering is accredited. Um, the The programs typically take about uh, six months, maybe nine months, not usually much more than a year, but somewhere between six months and a year to complete these uh, programs where you learn the skills to become a medical assistant working in the office. In our office, for example, our medical assistants uh, uh, do more than just uh, manage medical records, but they'll also do things like check someone into the room and, and take a brief medical history, or uh, in, in some cases they'll even do blood pressures and those sorts of things. Uh, but medical assistants stop short of doing things like drawing blood or giving injections. Those are purely nursing procedures. But medical assistant jobs are those uh, jobs that don't require the skill and intensity of training that a nurse does, uh, but they certainly require more than, uh, you know, than somebody who's completely untrained. Thanks for taking this time to explore medical careers with me. Again, I'm Dr. David Cathcart with Heartland Regional Medical Center in St. Joseph, Missouri.